Hello people, Jumbo. Um, my name is Godfrey. I'm a, a cool Kenyan. Uh, there has been a story about uh, a story going around about um, body shaming and all that. And I've been thinking this is something that has been in place since a uh, uh, long time ago. The only difference between today and the previous years is in the previous years we did not have bloggers and we did not have the social media to spread uh, the message about body shaming. And it is spreading because mostly in the celebrity squares or rather the circle of the celebrities we have people who are either fat, people who are either thin, people who are either black or whatever thing that distinguishes a person. When I was growing up um, and I was young, I remember in my mother tongue they used to call me um, Kamblaki because I was totally dark, like not like a bleached now, but uh, considering or rather comparing with the people that I, I, I was with by then, then I was really black. And so they used to call me Blacky. So they, they described me uh, depending on my skin color. I could not call that racism because the first case is they are also Africans. Secondly, uh, I could not call that uh, body shaming because the matter of fact is I was black or rather I am black in color. This did not just end when I was young because even when I joined campus back then when we used to, to, to compare or rather uh, check amongst ourselves with my friends who was blackier than the other person and it was joy huh? knowing that you're the blackest or rather you're the darkest amongst the, the friends that you have it distinguishes you, it makes you different because even when maybe we share a name with someone uh, let's say someone is gone gone free and we have, I have another person who is gone gone free someone can use uh, even our color differences to differentiate us so if someone called me Godfrey, you're my OC, that, that, I, I will not have had an issue with that because basically I know I'm dark or rather I'm black. That is not the only thing that happened to me when I was young because I think when I was young I was also a little bit canono, I, I was rubbed or rather I was really fat. So there is this banana in Meru which we call Ketulutu, it's a banana which is really fat or rather it's, it's it's huge in, 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 in mass. And uh, I remember that time they used to call me the, say, the name of the banana. Why? Because I was really fat, like a fatty, or rather known or out. And uh, I didn't have an issue with that when I was growing up because basically it is the name they used to refer me to. Uh, Kitulutu, even some of them used to call me Kibukando. That Kibukando is an Afakando or so, but you now that is how we pronounce it in Meru. And um, it is only that the narrative has changed today. People now have stopped calling people the names of the actual things or rather a, a, compar a comparison. Like we used to say, if, if your father is tough, unasema baba yangu ni simba. So if you say baba yangu ni simba, it doesn't make the person a simba. It's like now calling a fat person an hippopotamus. <laughs> Looks funny. But uh, as a matter of fact, it's just another way of saying as fat as an hippopotamus. So, Nikama Kukuambia to your fat, but when we were being taught in high school or rather back in primary school and we were writing compositions and we are using similes, we will say that uh, as fat as a pig. Now, if for instance I call a fat person a pig, it doesn't mean that I've called them, I, 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 they have changed their form to being a pig. It is only that I'm calling them fat, but in a, a parable or rather in a simile. So um, I don't intend to to really plan down the narrative of uh, people speaking about being upon the shame. I just want to ask people to begin appreciating who they are. Begin appreciating your color, bring up, begin appreciating your your body size. We used to call it common names when he was young, he was thin. 
but I, I love the guy because he took it positively. He has worked it out for his own profit. Uh, and I think it's just a matter of accepting the reality of who you are and trying to shape up and become really what you are. Uh, I've never defi I've never uh, eaten myself because of my color skin, because I'm dark. I really do appreciate it because I know many people love this color that I am in. And uh, that gives me the courage of every day moving around and just being confident of whom I am. I, I, I have always been confident with whatever name anyone called me because it's just another way of calling me uh, according to my physicality. Um, I take it to the advantage and actually do appreciate myself for whom I am. I just, I'm just calling uh, people who are standing out to me to speak of uh, like are they being born ashamed. If your fat, accept your fat. If you don't love being fat, go into the gym, work out, be the, on the size that you want to be. If you, you don't intend, if you don't, don't want people to call you Sindanon or rather a person who is thin, go to the, and, and do some workouts as well. Eat well, grow fat or become like Eric Omondi has become and walk out without your shirt. Let people be what you would appreciate yourself to be. If you cannot appreciate yourself as a fat person or as a thin person or as a black person, as a short or a tall person, then what do you want to be so that you will appreciate yourself? That is just uh, my take on the issue of uh, of uh, the shaming that is coming up on the issues of body shaming. If someone calls you an evil, run with it. Appreciate that you are fat. If you don't appreciate that you are fat, go out and work out. Build your body as you want it to be. If you don't it love, if do you don't love it as it is. Uh, otherwise, guys. Um, it is just a small snippet that I'm, I'm giving out of uh, out there. Uh, just as, I, as my small sense in, in the issue of uh, body shaming as it's going around, it's happening every day. Is uh, People are speaking about it in the social media every day. Uh, in the media, we have the media personalities, the celebrities who are speaking about it. Guys, if you don't appreciate who you are, go out, work out and be different and be that which you appreciate others. God bless you, keep safe, work out, love yourself, and uh, become what you would want you to be, or rather you to be. Otherwise, you will keep on using the similes, like us, uh, as, uh, as fat as a hippopotamus, as fat as, fat as, a, as a pig, or rather any other